I hope after watch this video, you can maximize your experience in the Canton Fair during your visiting. You will know how to make your experience of the Canton Fair even better. So let's get into it. Hello guys, this is Carmen Chen from Centimeter. Nice to see you. Last week, I already made one full guide video of the upcoming Canton Fair on 2024. I have talked about like a different time with different face with different products, some tips about like how you attend the fair, what you need to prepare. And after that video, I already received some message asking me to share more information about the Canton Fair, especially for the people who is the first time to attend the Canton Fair here in Guangzhou. There were three general fair tips. So the first one is make sure you wear a comfortable shoes. Of course, during the Canton Fair, you will think it's a business meeting. Probably some of you will thinking about to wear a nice outfit, like leather shoes. Here in the fair, it's really huge fair. You really want to be comfortable. After half of the fair, you will already feel exhausted for your painful feet. So it's very important to wear comfortable. I will even recommend you to wear a kind of a sport shoes just to make sure that you are comfortable of your feet that you will last long for the full day walking here the weather is really like a humidity and hot so make sure that you wear comfortable based on the fair number two is to stay hydrated you will be sweat a lot so you need to walk a lot during the fair the last fair i remember i took like a more than 30k steps when you talk with any booth in the fair you can ask them for water even sometimes they will provide you it's better you prepare a small bottle of water probably from hotel or you buy from the convenience shop in anywhere during the fair and tip number three is you need to better bring some snacks oh there were no restaurants in the fair of course there were a lot of restaurants in the fair they have different kind of uh, chinese food or kfc for the quality of the food they are all mainly based on fast food so around the lunch time you might probably find that it's very full it's better that if you want to save some time you don't want to be in crowd of all the people it probably will be a very smart way that you bring a snacks pack or a small sandwich with you that will help you after those simple tips for general fairs, here we get into the Canton Fair. First of all, you guys need to make sure that uh, in the Canton Fair have three phases. Each phase lasts for one week and different phases, they have different products. If you want to know what is each fa uh, phase's starting time and ending time and what kind of products in each phase, you can go back to my last video or you can visit the Canton Fair website and you can find the answers. Please remember to bring three important things. First is your passport and second is your business card. And the third one is the fully charged mobile phone. After you get ready with this, if you have the badge already, this is for your lifetime. So you can just enter the Canton Fair. For the others that you don't have the badge, you probably need to register. And then before you, on the entrance, you can see a lot of QR code. You just need to scan it, register, stand online and wait for uh, until the, someone attends you, uh, go to get the badge. During the Canton Fair time, it's very difficult to get a taxi. And even if you grab one, the taxi driver will give you an unbelievable price that you don't want to afford. Maybe it's better that you make sure that your hotel will have a shuttle bus to the, to the fair. Otherwise, you can just take the subway to avoid all the traffic. If you can, try not to go to the first day of the fair or the last day of the fair. For the first day, probably, first of all, is a lot of people. And second of all, probably you were missing some suppliers there. And the last day of each phase of the fair, it will happen that probably when you walk around, you already see some factories or uh, booths, they already start to pack the products. Probably some of them already leave. Also for the traffic, at that time, all the suppliers, they need to arrange logistics for their products and then for their booths, the chairs and tables and they themselves. Then you will really probably see a big mess on the street. When you make your way 
already into the Canton Fair, please remember to bring a backpack or suitcase to collect all the catalogs or some samples that you receive from the supplier. To have a sample in hand is very important. The difference between you, you attend the online Canton Fair or the offline Canton Fair is you can get approached with the suppliers that you are talking and you can touch the products and feel that the quality. And then probably in the future, you will find that it's very useful for you to identify uh, different uh, products with the good quality, like different quality level of the products. So this is today all I share uh, for the tips and I hope that you can enjoy my video. And if you uh, have more tips that you want to add on, please leave me a message or leave me a comment in the video and then to share with everyone and then we will be appreciate your share. Please remember to leave a like or subscribe to my channel. I'm going to share with you more videos in the upcoming weeks about the upcoming Canton Fair 2024 on the spring. We have already have our Instagram so you can find Centimeter Sourcing and Shipping in Instagram. And there I'm also going to uh, share with you all the information and knowledge about sourcing and shipping from China. This is Carmen Chen from Centimeter. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.